I'm very eager to get out and to sightsee and look around and have the experiences that I'm having. Andrea Selbiner is a tourist on Texas, USA. She arrived in Belize today on this mega cruise ship, the Carnival Vista. The cruise ship left Galveston, Texas on August 7, and before arriving in Belize, it first stopped in Roatan, Honduras. They're more evident on hand washing and sanitizing. And what about the mask wearing though? Yes, that too. Um, the only thing that I would say and, and that I appreciate is when they are, when we're outside on the decks that are open air, being able to pull them down because of the heat and everything, it's really nice because we stay pretty good distance away from everybody because there's not as much people as there normally is. And this cruise ship today brought 2,895 guests and 1,441 crew on board, a total of 4,336 persons. 27 of those persons have tested positive for COVID-19, 26 staff members and one tourist. And we were scared that they were going to cancel our ship. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> We're vaccinated, so we, and we're, I'm active army, and he's government employee, so we have been essential employees through the whole pandemic. Wow. So we've caught the COVID before, before we got vaccinated, and it's just one of those things where we don't allow fear to overpower us. In a press release, the Belize Tourism Board says that all positive cases have been isolated and contact tracing has ended with no additional positive cases found. The press release also informed that the infected crew and passenger do not pose a threat to guests, crew or frontline workers in Belize. This morning, tourism frontline workers were out in front of FSTV selling their services to tourists. John Pollard of Big John Tours operates land tours. He says the industry just isn't booming again. Pretty slow. Pretty, pretty slow. Two people, three people. That's the kind of tours you're getting if you get any at all. Compared to? Compared to back before this whole thing started where a ship like this would have been gotten, everybody out here would have been eating. Um, for the restart, out on the grounds outside here, um, five or six people has their gold standard certificate. So if you notice and you're seeing the grounds, this is not the tourist village that you would know about. It's like a ghost house still. According to the BTB, 99.9% .9 of the crew is vaccinated. The percentage of vaccinated passengers is 96.5. Cellbinder says guests are required to follow strict COVID-19 guidelines. They require us to have our masks with us, of course, and making sure if we're indoor. And they remind us, so when we go to sh uh, shows and stuff like that, they say, hey, this is an area where you have to wear your mask okay. unless you're taking a drink. Um, so they do, you know, keep, you know, repeating that and making sure that we're fully aware that we should be wearing our mask, even though we're sitting down, we're enjoying, we're laughing with the comedy shows and stuff like that. Our masks still need to be up and going. My son is one of those that were exempt. So he's too young to take the vaccine, but we were able to get on the boat and everything. He had to get tested within 72 hours before getting on. And then he got tested again before we actually got on. It was like right then and there, a 15 minute test real fast. We also isolated ourselves some right beforehand, so there was like absolutely no chance of us catching anything because I was off. I took off a week before we left for the cruise and stuff like that to ensure that there were safety precautions put in place for us so we could go and enjoy ourselves. Um, and then for, I have not personally, but I only go off for just a little bit and then come back. I don't stay like the whole day and go do the excursion parts. I'm just here for the shopping. <laughs> so I think that I have a less chance of getting it because it's just me. I don't do anything with my hands. I sanitize every chance I get and I haven't had any issues with that. Um, I do worry about some people catching it and getting it and coming back on board. I just cross my fingers and pray that it isn't us or anywhere where we were associated with them at the time. Selbinder is against the COVID-19 vaccine but still took it because she wanted to come on the cruise. I think a lot of people are on the same boat as us where they're just tired of COVID and they're ready to just have fun. And for us to 
still go back to wearing masks where the previous ship didn't have to. It's like, you know, we were all pretty disappointed because now we have one more thing we have to keep track of as we go. Well, you're out and you're having fun and when you're, when you're scuba diving or <laughs> when you're doing all these other things that you want your mask off. Right. Um, then yeah, I do think that your guard does go down some. Of course, so. I wouldn't be upset or, you know, blame them or okay. anything like that. Cause just like the rest of us, we've been cooped up for so long for us to finally just be able to just be ourselves and experience something that we've been waiting for for so long. Uh, it would just be like, okay, well, now we got COVID. The dreaded and deadly COVID. Some want it completely gone, but the reality is it will be with us for many more years. And for many more years, those who rely on the tourism industry will continue to be negatively impacted. But that impact can be minimized if everyone does their part. What I would like to see happen is for COVID to disappear. I have learned that last week we had a death of the cruise ship. I am a little surprised because if my recollection is right, I never hear nothing more than funny news. The people who should be the one doing this thing from BTB needs to do a better job on that. Um, we never knew anything about people dying from off that cruise line last week. We never knew anything about that ship coming here last week and about eight or ten members had COVID. The stats that we are seeing is showing us that those who are vaccinated, we are seeing less effect. Those who are not vaccinated, we are seeing this great effect. Belize country, a couple months ago, was at one, and then from there, it rises no more. It's all to what? Five, six hundred there about? According to the BTB, the COVID cluster on board has been contained and the safety protocols are proving effective. However, additional protocols were implemented for today's call. All passengers that have a negative COVID-19 test will be asked to provide proof, and those that do not will be subject to random testing. I heard that you guys do random testing for random people that are around, so just be accepting towards it and just go along with it, which I'm fine with. I'm curious on the type of testing you guys are going to do, because I know that you, really the only way to test still currently is either by blood or the invasive one. And no one likes that test. <laughs> no one does. So I'm like, I don't want to ruin my whole day by getting something shoved up my nose at the end of the day. But, you know, it is what it is. You take that risk by getting off the ship. And so, and then the, I see all the hand sanitizer stations too. So, I mean, it's good. It's, it's one of those things where now we're using it again and to make sure that we do that. So it's good. But you weren't random tested because I think that happens before you get out here. Oh, no, I wasn't, I okay, guess. So you're lucky. <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> I am. Yay. <laughs> Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.